It's definitely hoppy. It's definitely very hop forward. Um, a lot of kind of resiny, piney hop characters, some citrus, a lot of fruit flavors going on in the beer. You don't get a lot of um, roast malt character. You get it's more molassesy and and kind of brown sugar like. People are going to be able to drink more than a pint of this at a time, and uh, I think people are going to dig on the hop character on it. It's good. The original uh, concept of this beer was a Texas brown ale, which is kind of the American brown ale style. Uh, in homebrew circles, it had uh, the designation of Texas brown ale. Uh, there was a homebrew supply store that was um, selling kits. Um, they were John Bull English style kits. Uh, California brewers were taking a bunch of Cascade hops and supercharging it, adding some more crystal malt to it, touching a little, a little more chocolate to it, and then you basically had a um, a bigger version of the existing beer with um, more hop forward flavors and aromas. I think what was great about this collaboration is everybody got elements that they were able to put in that they that they feel are special to them for that style of beer. And so for me, you got, I, I got some brown sugar and some molasses in there, which is uh, kind of synergistic with our brown ale. But, I mean, that's what's cool about a collaboration is that you get three people together with different ideas, and they're all going to have a different take and twist on it. So that may be my twist, but it was all trying to work with two fellow brewers that you respect to make a, a batch of beer. It's a chance to really get creative, do things we haven't done before. That's, to me, that's what makes collaborations really fun is brewing a beer that we wouldn't normally brew without having the influence of the other two people in the in the uh, in the project there's not a lot of people brewing this style of beer it's kind of similar to one of the pioneering craft beers uh, of the 1980s it was quite wicked <laughs> this is going to be a very hot forward beer i i think a lot of it is going to come from some of the dry hopping um, I, I think we're going to use a combination of an old school hopping profile of between the, the, the Brewer's Gold and the Cascade. Uh, pretty sure that those are relatively new hops to, to, to Stone as a whole. From what I understood today was the first day that Stone has used Cascade, which I find absolutely just amazing. This is what we were trying to do. You know, it's it, it's got a real nice, uh, very pronounced bitterness. Uh, it's got it's very upfront in the hop character, and it's very. Uh, uh, it's a, it's just a good ale, good drinking beer, you know, it's got a lot going on in it. I wouldn't expect it's a, a long-term ager. It's not a beer for cellaring. It's a beer to drink fresh. Be my recommendation on this. So drink it up, you know, <laughs> drink it up, drink it fresh.